Once you have mastered the basics about using exponents, there are a couple of rules that you can use to simplify problems to make them a little bit easier for you uh, so that the calculations aren't quite as long. And you can shorten problems. Two of the most common rules are the product rule and the quotient rule. And in this video I'm going to show you all about the product rule. I'm going to show you how to use it and why it works. So let's start with a problem like this. The product rule, remember product just means uh, the answer uh, when you multiply two numbers together. So if you have two numbers with exponents that you're multiplying together, and if the bases are the same, you may use the product rule. And let me show you why. I would like to begin by taking each of these numbers and writing them in expanded form. In expanded form, what that means is we're going to take this 3 to the third power and we're going to write that as 3 times 3 times 3. So there is the expanded form for that. Next, I'm going to take this 3 to the second power, or 3 squared, and I'm going to write that in expanded form. So this is going to be times 3 times 3. So there is the expanded form for that one. Well now what we have is we have this problem that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And if you remember from your exponent basics, that is 3 times itself 5 times. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 3's multiplied together. So another way that we could write that is 3 to the 5th power. So you might notice, hey, if we've got exponents of 3 to the 3rd and 3 to the 2nd power, and when we simplify that, it ends up as 3 to the 5th power, you might think, wait a second, that sounds like it's the same as 3 to the 3 plus 2 power, and you'd be exactly right. That would be 3 to the 5th power. Exactly. So that's the product rule. If we want to do that again, we could have 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8. That would be 8 to the 5th power. And then we could have the second part, 8 to the 4th power, times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8. So what's our answer? How many 8's are we multiplying together here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 8 to the 9th power. And wait a second, let's look back here. This would be 8 to the 5th plus 8. 8 to the 4th, 8 to the 5 plus 4 is 8 to the 9th. So when you are multiplying exponents, if the bases are the same, just add the exponents. So what's 10 to the 15th times 10 to the 8th? Well, that's just going to be 10 to the 15 plus 8, which is simply going to be 10 to the 23rd. We're dealing with huge numbers here, but the problem is still quite easy. How about this one? 7 to the 10th power times 5 to the 8th power. How can you handle this one? Well, do you just add the exponents? No, wait a second. I said earlier the bases have to be the same. Here the bases are different. You cannot use the product rule on this problem when the bases are different. How about this? d to the 51st times d to the 9th. Well, that's just going to be d to the 51 plus 9 which is going to be equal to d to the 60th power. And finally, x to the m times x to the n is simply x to the m plus n, and we'll have to leave it at that. So that's the product rule for exponents. When the bases are the same and you're multiplying them together, just simply add the exponents. Your problem will be shorter, quicker, and easier.